Welcome to Around the House, sponsored by Romac Building Supply. I'm your host, Tom Magruder. If you like today's show, go to AroundTheHouse.tv, where you can sign up for our YouTube channel and our weekly newsletter. In this segment, Around the House, Dal Waddell and Chad Daniels from MNC Fences joining me to discuss the latest trends in fencing. These guys are experts when it comes to fencing, and they put up a lot of fence here in Lake and Sumter County. So with that, I'd like to introduce Dal Wildell and Chad Daniels. Good afternoon, guys. How are you doing? Doing great. Doing Thanks wonderful. Here. We are glad to have you here. And Dal, won't you take a few moments to tell us about MNC Fence? Okay. Uh, so back in 1973, my parents started MNC Pipe, which we sold irrigation and plumbing supplies. Uh, so back in the 80s, when vinyl fence first came out, we started doing vinyl fencing. And to the point we are now that we don't do any irrigation, uh, any plumbing, and we changed our name last year officially to MNC Fence. And all we do is uh, fencing, uh, specializing in vinyl. Chad, what type of fencing and fencing services do you guys offer? Uh, as far as the types of fence, uh, we do all types. We do chain link, uh, wood fencing, aluminum, and uh, most importantly, vinyl. Uh, we also do repairs, and we do commercial work as well. Now, Chad, you're unique in a sense. You guys actually buy the components and build the fence, the vinyl fence segments in your uh, facility here in Leesburg, correct? Yes, sir. So that's that gives you a huge huge advantage. In other words, you're not buying from a big box store. You're you're sort of manufacturing your own. Correct, and that uh, that also allows us to do custom work. Um, we can also with vinyl, you can pretty much fabricate anything your mind can come up with. And what type of projects do you do? Just residential or do you do commercial? What, is any job too large or too small? We haven't found one too, uh, too large as of yet, um, but we do both residential and commercial. There's also a lot of issues where people need service on their fence, damaged parts and stuff. Do you guys work on uh, repairs and such as that? Absolutely. We, uh, the, one of our biggest parts of our business is, is repairs. Dow, you said you're selling a lot of uh, different types of fences. What's, what's the most popular fencing used here in Lake and Sumter County? Probably vinyl fencing because of its, uh, its durability, its longevity. Um, it's a very economical fence because if you compare it to wood, it's actually more expensive than wood, but there's no maintenance. You're not going to replace it. Um, so in the long run, it becomes a lot cheaper than wood. And with you guys manufacturing the panels here in Leesburg, that gives you a cost advantage, but is it, are you able to do installation? Do y'all have crews to do installs and such as that? Absolutely. And also by uh, manufacturing the, the, um, the fencing ourselves, we're able to contour at the ground as opposed to that stepped look that you see with the panels. How do you contour to the ground? The fencing is all in um, separate sef sections, so you have your top and bottom rail okay. and your pickets, and it, we can actually rack the sections to go with the ground. You know, that's a big deal because a lot of people like to maintain that top line, and that's, that's important. Uh, Dow, how do you clean a vinyl fence? You know, you see these wood fences, they get painted, pressure washed. How do you clean a vinyl fence? I always recommend to people to get a house wash product, which there's several on the market, and I tell them just follow the instructions. Some have you dilute it, some use it uh, the full strength, and um, it cleans any type of the vinyl fencing. It makes it look like brand new. Chad, one big problem with fences is a lot of times people put them on the wrong side of the property line. Uh, first off, do you guys recommend a survey before you put a fence up? And then once you find the property line, where do you place the fence? Yes, sir. If, if the fence or if the property is not um, already staked, uh, we do request uh, a survey. We actually request it even if it is staked just to make sure that everything is, is properly in place. Um, so most customers already have the survey and they're willing to give a copy of it. All right, and do you set the fence on the line or a few inches in? What's your general rule? Uh, generally about two inches from the property line. So you keep it that close. Mm -hmm. um, Dow, take us through the process of getting a fence. If someone uh, saw today's program and they want to get a fence, the first thing they're going to do is call you at what number? They're going to call us at 352-787-3221. What happens from there? From there, they uh, will get an appointment uh, with someone to come out to measure their project, to talk about what type of fence they would need to best fit them, whether it's for security, for uh, pet containment, for privacy, whatever they need. 
Um, and then we would give them a quote, and if they decided to go with the project, we would schedule it, and normally we're two to three weeks out on projects. Is there a charge to get a quote? No charge at all. T totally free. Now, you mentioned various reasons why people get offense. Uh, what seems to be the driving force around here? Why are, what, why are people getting fences more than other areas? Lots of reasons. I think the biggest reason is pets. Pets. That people want pet containment. Okay. There's also security issues, um, privacy around pools, uh, fences around pools for, uh, for security for pe people coming in your pool. But uh, pets seems to be the biggest uh, reason people get fences. Well, Dal Waddell and Chad Daniels, I think it's time we look at some of these fences. We're going to go to the Romac uh, show and tell desk, and when we return, we're going to talk about various types of fences, manufactured MNC fence. Stand by, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Around the House, sponsored by Romac Building Supply. I'm Don Magruder, and joining me today is Dal Waddell and Chad Daniels from MNC Fence, and we're at the Romac Building Supply show and tell desk. Uh, Dal, what do we have here? Well, we have uh, our vinyl privacy. We have the white, obviously the white. We have a wood grain picket and some of our tan. And this, and you put all this together here in your operation here in Leesburg? Yes, sir. We, we custom fabricate this. Now, a couple things. I see you got different tops on that. How many types of tops do you have, toppers like this? There's probably a dozen different tops. These are two of the most popular. This is a New England cap, and this is, some people call it a flat cap or a pyramid cap. Okay. What astounds me is this uh, vinyl wood look. You know, a few years ago, there was no color in that. Chad, when did the, the vinyl become so popular in the wood look? Uh, several of the vendors have come out with various colors, uh, I would say, within the last year. And a lot of them are smooth, and then some of them actually have a wood grain to them. Is it very durable? I know we get heat around here. It is. It does expand and contract. In, in a sales call, we do explain that to the customer, that you are going to get some expanding and contraction with the, the heat uh, absorbing into the vinyl, so. I really like this tan color. Is is that growing in popularity? Because I have a white vinyl fence, and it seems to want to, you know, show a little more dirt. Are people going more to this tan color dial because of that? They are. They even, people will mix the tan and the white together. We've done several projects with tan posts, tan rails, and white pickets, and vice versa. Okay, one thing that's hard to figure out is this is a hollow post. Now, uh, is this substantial enough to withstand hurricane winds and such as that? Absolutely. It's, it's amazingly strong compared to wood. It's actually, in my opinion, stronger than wood. And if it's installed properly, it'll withstand uh, Cat 1, Cat 2 hurricanes with no problem. Okay. Chad, what's the biggest mistake people make when they're considering vinyl fence or wood fence? I would say the biggest mistake with fencing, um, I do most of the sales calls, is uh, the, the residents or customers, um, they forget to look into the HOA regulations. Um, so a lot of times we get caught up with what is actually allowed um, as, an, as a fence application for their house. So you have, do you generally have to get approvals from an HOA before you can put a fence up? Yes, sir. And I know a lot of HOAs don't allow fencing up to a certain part of the house, nothing in front. Do, do a lot of people have a hard time understanding that? Yeah, absolutely. Now, is there a building permit required to put a fence up? It depends on where you're at. Um, usually in the county, there's, there's not. Um, but inside the city limits, in most city limits, um, there, there are permits required. Let's talk about some other types of fencing, uh, chain link fencing. Used to be the most popular one. A lot of people consider chain link very good. Are you putting a lot of chain link up these days, Dow? We are. We do a lot of residential for pet containment, four foot tall, uh, round yards is very common. And then even uh, for baseball fields, softball fields, uh, sports fields, putting a, a vinyl coated chain link is very popular also. Talk about heights of fence. What's the general heights of fence and what's permissible? Uh, in the most subdivisions or either, even the rural areas? What are most people using? Most people are using the six foot total privacy around the back. Anything from the front of the house toward the road, you have to go to four foot, which we do, we, we can transition from six to four from the back to the front, but six foot is a very popular size. Let's talk a little bit about wood fence. A lot of people like the look of wood. Uh, are you doing wood privacy fences? Or are you doing the board on fence? and? And what are some of the tips to make sure that those fence 
uh, work well, Chad? I would say on the, uh, one of the biggest mistakes uh, homeowners make with wood fencing is they forget that there is maintenance involved in wood fencing. Um, I usually recommend once the wood starts turning slight gray that you, you either paint it or treat it with some type of water treatment. And then you have to keep up on that as the years go along if you want the, the longevity of the fence. Big issue in fencing is pools. You know, either uh, if even if it's in a cage, you're supposed to have a child's fence. But for pools that are not in cages, or what, what are the requirements for fencing around a pool? So pool code, you have to have a minimum 48 inches to the top of the fence from the outside. Okay. Your gate has to swing out. Your gate has to be self-closing. And you have to have a latch with a minimum of 54 inches to the top of the pool for the latch. Okay. Can you put a, a vinyl or this vinyl, will it serve as a pool fence or... Is it only certain types? No, absolutely. Vinyl will, vinyl works very great for pool fencing. We also have done chain link. Aluminum is a popular pool fence, so there's several different types you can use for pools. Okay. When you look at fencing, how should someone select the right fence for them? You know, we've talked about vinyl fence, we've talked about wood fence, and we've talked about vinyl fence. What should people consider when they're, when they're deciding what fence is best for them? We like to ask, why fence? Why, why do you want it? Do you want it for a pet? Do you want it for a pool? Do you want it for privacy, security, and that leads us to the type of fence that would best work for, for the customer. So when you ask that why fence question, what's the biggest response you get, Chad? To uh, contain a pet. Um, many times they want to let their children play in the backyard and have that sense of security that the, the kids are in the backyard safe. Um, so that's usually the two main reasons they want fencing. I know you've mentioned pets several times. What do you do about dogs that are diggers? That uh, can be tough. We, uh, we can put chain link into the ground. We've several times dug trenches and had the chain link six inches in the ground so the dogs can't dig under. With vinyl, uh, as long as they can't see under, a lot of times they won't dig under. If they can't see it, they, they won't try to get out. Well, Dow Waddell and Chad Daniels from MC Fence, thank you for being our guest today. And one more time, how can you be contacted? And I understand you got a great website. Absolutely. Our website is www.m, the word and, A-N-D, cfence.com and again the phone number is 352-787-3221 and I want to thank you for watching Around the House today if you like today's show go to aroundthehouse.tv where you can sign up for our YouTube channel and weekly newsletter until next time we will see you Around the House <laughs>